highly anticipated is this fight. Gary Russell Jr. versus Vasil Lomachenko, Showtime. This is going to be a great fight to me. This is the main event. This has the most intrigue, and it's a very tough prediction to make. But we're, that's, what, that's what we're here to do. We're going to break this shit down. Gary Russell Jr., very accomplished amateur, uh, going up against one of the the high, the highest uh, amateur accomplished athletes in Vasil Lomachenko, who, you know, two gold medals, you know, on the back of fucking uh, how many Olympic junior championships. Um, he also was able to defeat Jose Ramirez and uh, took a split decision loss to Orlando Salido, in which, to me, that was a clear loss. Um, he definitely was not ready for uh, that type of Salido, that type of fighter. And it shows you, um, it shows you what a big difference uh, all those Olympic accolades, all those gold medals, how that doesn't really apply when you have that seasoned pro in front of you. And he, he definitely had to have learned uh, some things in that fight. And it'll be interesting to see how he adjusts. Because uh, Gary Russell Jr. is as technical and as uh, speedy of a, of, a, of a fighter. You know, he's fast and he's technical. He's a great boxer puncher. He knows how to stand right at mid range, use a ton of head movement. Uh, you know, really knows how to have an active defense and counter strong with left hooks and body shots and a solid, solid jab. Uh, there's not too many bad things you could say about Gary Russell Jr. One of them is he doesn't use his feet a heck of a lot. You know, he likes to stand right at mid range. Right, not in front, but just at his range where he can land power shots. And he can set up a knockout blow. That's Gary Russell Jr. And um, I would like to see more foot movement out of him. And to a degree, we did see that when he did get hurt his hand against uh, Vacheslev uh, Gusev. Uh, and that was a, a somewhat competitive fight, but... Uh, a dominant performance from Gary Russell. Even with the hurt hand, he dominated. Uh, he adjusted, and he was still able to land clean jabs. And uh, a heck of a job uh, he pulled off in that fight. But that, you know, Gary Russell, um, he's, he's having issues with activity, but he did come back against Miguel Tamayo early this year. And now, uh, you know, it's four, about four, four and a half months later, he returns. Uh, whereas Vasil Lomachenko, you know, that, that Salido fight was also quite a while uh, ago, but, but it was uh, this February. So technically uh, Lomachenko, probably the most active fighter uh, since Gary Russell tends to take a lot of layoffs. But in my opinion, Lomachenko has not developed a pro style. You know, and, and, and this, is, this is why fighters take 10 to 15 fights against... Uh, against solid but overmatched opponents. This is why they do it. Because once a fighter gets out of the amateurs, they need to develop. They got to tra transition themselves into the pro style of fighting because it's not the same. It's not the same without headgear. You know, it's it's, it's a different ball game. And, and we've heard it from, from fighters. Check out Dante's video where he's in the Mayweather gym asking pro fighters about who they think. And it's unanimous. It's unanimous. No one bets on Lomachenko. They they consider Gary Russell to be the better athlete, the better boxer, and the one with the the professional style. And I know, okay, you can bring up Nanil Denaire. Anyone can bring up Nanil Denaire and say, hey, Gary, uh, sorry, Guillermo Rigondeaux had had that breakout performance against Nanil Denaire. Well, guess what? Gary Russell Jr. is not Nanil Denaire, so to speak. You know he. He's a, he's a much better technical fighter than Nito is, and he doesn't get hit as much as Nito does. So those are two good things going for him. Um, speed. Speed kills in boxing. Gary Russell definitely has a faster hand. Well, you know what? In, in terms of foot movement, let's put it this way. Lomachenko uses more of it, but in terms of using it effectively, I'm not sure that he uses it uh as effectively as he could. I think that's a, another area that he needs to really perfect. 
uh, because, and uh, he's, he also has fast hands, but I'm not sure about his power, to be honest. Um, you know, Orlando Salido was eating those shots like it was nothing up until the final couple rounds where he did seem to stagger Salido and hurt him for a little bit. Uh, so he does have some pop in his punches, but I think Russell's the bigger puncher. But again, we don't know if he can take a punch at the same time. So it's interesting to see, uh, you know, boxing, anything can happen in the ring. You know, one shot can end it all. And uh, Lomachenko definitely brings uh, solid attributes uh, on the back of his amateur success. But he, he's not a Guillermo Rigondeaux. He doesn't have that perfect technique that that we're used to seeing from Olympic gold medalists. You know, he doesn't have that. You know, it's it's just there's something about Rigondeaux where it's like everything he does in the ring, uh, he's trained it in Cuba 10 or 15 times where it's become his habits to have perfect technique. And Gary Russell, he's got great technique at mid-range, but we, we just haven't seen him where he's got a box on the outside. Uh, on a consistent level, but I, I think with with his amateur experience as well, I, I believe he is able to do that. But he just has the ability to get these guys out of there early, and I think he just goes for the knockout. You know, you know that's that's how you get fans on your side. Um, and 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 I like the way uh, Russell will be able to to land his jab uh, against Lomachenko. I think that's going to be a key to this fight. I think he has the better of the jabs, and the jabs are underrated in boxing. They can be a very dominant punch, and they can tell the tale of a fight. You know, look at what happened with Winky Wright versus Felix Trinidad. All he needed was a jab to beat Trinidad, you know, and Trinidad's a Hall of Fame fighter. So that tells you a lot about one punch. And I think, um, I think Russell has a better jab. He's got the better left hook. He's got faster hands. And I think that alone... We'll be able to win him a decision. Uh, that's just my thoughts. I like Gary Russell in the fight. I think he'll be able to beat Lomachenko, who is a, a definite solid competitor. But he's got to stop managing his own career. And part of it was because the WBO kept him so high on the rankings. But um, there's a reason why fighters need managers. Because um, they gradually bring them up to world level. Fighters will... You know, he's managing his own career. He, he's putting himself up there against the best in the world. And um, he still has a lot to learn in boxing. And he still has to develop a professional style. Because right now, I don't believe he has it. So I'm picking Gary Russell Jr. And, uh, you know, you better believe, you better believe, I, I truly believe Gary Russell will win this fight. Let me know what you guys think. It is what it is, guys.